All right, so going over a few things with your mini drone um, or drone. Um, so whenever you turn the drone on, you notice all the lights are flashing. Whenever I turn the controller on, it makes the noises and that's, they're still flashing. So if I take my left stick and come down, up, down, then it they all stop flashing. It's paired together. So now my controller will control the drone. Um, to start the motors, just move both sticks in and down like that, and the motors start up. If I just if you don't take off immediately or within three seconds, it turns off. Otherwise, you can just hold the left stick down. And it'll turn off. Um, also, this bottom button, this A button, that's an emergency stop button. So if it's flying and you want it to stop, just turn everything off, hit the A button. Um, you don't really need to know about the other two buttons for what we're doing. You can play with those uh, on your own. Um, the B button will start the motors. It'll also take off automatically for you and it'll turn off the motors too. But um, we're more focused on getting used to controlling the drone instead of letting the drone do the stuff for us. So basic control functions, that's gonna make the drone go higher. That makes it go lower. So when I push up on this, the drone's going to go up. When I push down, it's going to come down. If I push left, it's going to turn left. If I push right, it's going to turn right. Even this other stick, if I go forward, it's going to fly to the front of the drone. If I come backwards, it's going to come back to the back of the drone. Left makes it slide left, and right makes it slide right. Um, this down here, once you get your drone up, since it doesn't have GPS or positioning cameras, um, once you get your drone up, if you notice it's drifting more toward the front, push back, and that'll start trimming it back. So you just mess with, just, you put input here in the opposite direction from where it's floating to, to, to kind of offset that. Um, then the other thing you need to know is right here, where the picture of the camera is, so the, the right side of that button. Then you just do a quick press. It takes a picture. You do a long press. It starts video. So we should, should do a video now. Um, so that's the main stuff for us, really. Um, I will show you some more stuff through the uh, deal through the app. Um, bear with me a couple seconds. There we go. Okay, so now from out here, if I hit the question mark, it'll show me some more stuff, like turning the product on. It again shows you all the different um, symbols and what they what they go for. Um, again, it goes into the, the throttle, left, right, roll, stuff like that. Um, so that's just a little bit that you can look at to kind of um, get brushed up on the controls. And again, if I turn this on, I'm going to correspond. But from here, moving this up is going to make it take off or make it go higher. It's going to climb. So moving that up makes the drone move up. Moving it down makes the drone move down. Moving it right makes it spin. Moving it left makes it spin. 
then that is going to make it go forward. Back down here is going to make it come back. And if we go left, it's going to go left, right, it's going to slide right. So that's the basics there. If we turn that on, it gives us some more options. Um, so like pushing this button. Should make the motor start. Ah, oh, well, I'm, I'm connected. I don't know why it's not working right now. Maybe. Okay. So as long as the controller is not turned on, if I push that button, then my motors will start. Um, so that'll start them. That'll that'll stop them. And take off. Like, oops. That'll take off. That'll land. Um, and that's the main thing you need to know from there. And then you can control it from here. Um, again, it's not going to have GPS uh, or positioning sensors. So it's constantly going to be um, drifting around while it's going. So small inputs um, just to get control. It'll do pretty good holding its altitude. So you won't constantly be battling it going up and down. Um, so it'll hold pretty good. But as far as that, you go hard right, you'll have to put left input in to get it to stabilize out. And then it'll still drift to the left a little bit. But that's the basics for that. And that'll get you going so you can um, submit assignments and, uh, and do all that other stuff. Um, so again, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, reach out to me, let me know so we can get it uh, situated. And until then, I'll see you next time.